So you decided you want to do a lease purchase because you want to be your own boss. You want to make all kinds of money. You want to be able to go home when you want to and nobody call you back until you ready. All right, so let me tell you a few things that you need to do so that you can be successful in the lease purchase. All right, before we get to that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for clicking on my channel. I know you could be anywhere else on YouTube, but the fact that you chose to click on my channel, I greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's talk about this lease purchase. All right, so you made the decision, you found a company that you want to go to. What do you need to do? What are the steps? The very first thing I'm going to tell you is do not go to orientation without having set up your company. And no, that just does not mean getting your LLC. It's more to it. You need to set up your LLC, S Corp, whatever you're going to do through your state. Yes, you need to have that done. You need to have your articles of incorporation. But you also need to have your EIN, which is your business identification number for your business. So sort of like the social security for your business. Easy to get, it's free, do not pay for it. It takes about five minutes to go to the IRS website and go ahead and sign up to get your EIN. Third, once you have those two things, because you're gonna to have to have those two things done before you can do, this is step number three. Step number three is set up your business bank accounts. That is very important. Do not use your personal bank account as a business account. I'll tell you why later. Once you have those three things set up, then Go to orientation. Don't let them tell you, oh yeah, we'll set that business up for you. No. Can they do it? Oh, they can do it, absolutely. But you won't be able to set up your business bank account until you're done. You won't be able to set up, you know, any get you know, get your EIN. No, you can still get your EIN. But why let them set it up? That's a waste of money. Because it's gonna cost you. It's cheaper just to go ahead and go through the state. I know in Virginia, mine is only $100 to sell. All right, so you go to orientation. You have your business, your complete business, your LLC, EIN, and your business bank accounts. All right, so, you know, orientation is probably only be like two days, three days, whatever. They're going to uh, flood you with all this paperwork and get your physical done and all that stuff. So, very important, when it's time to sign the paperwork for your truck. Do not sign your name. You are a representation of your business. Your truck is your business asset. If you just sign the paperwork, Joe Blow, then that means Joe Blow is the owner of that truck, not Blase Blah LLC CEO Joe Blow. So when you sign any documents pertaining to your truck or any other asset that is an asset to your business, you are you have to sign on behalf of your business, meaning that you have to say or sign Blase Blase Blah LLC, Joe Blow, and then title, CEO, member, whatever. That way, it clearly states that you are signing on behalf of your business so that the truck can be registered under your business name and not your personal name. And this is where a lot of people get messed up. The reason why, and this is, the company is not going to tell you this. The reason why they want 
wants you to create an LLC is because you're just going to be a 1099 employee. You're going to be an independent contractor. So the only way you can do that is for you to have your LLC or for them to create for you to have an LLC. That's why you want to come with, that's why they want you to have your LLC when you come. All right. That's for them. I mean, it's for you too. But they want to make sure that you have your LLC because you are not an employee of said company. You are an independent contractor who has agreed to work with said company. All right, keep that in mind. Um, a lot of companies do uh, have like third parties that come in and, and issue trucks. And you're going to have to, like I, for example, I'm with Tel, all right? When I went to orientation and everything and we had to sign the paperwork for Tel, I made sure that I signed all my paperwork as a representation of my company, but they still did all the paperwork like it was under my name and not my company's name. And this is what you got to stay on top of them about. You got to look over your paperwork and be like, hey, no, 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 this is incorrect. This is the title is supposed to be under the company name, not your personal name. So therefore, it is an asset to the business and not you. Now, why is that important? And it is very important. The, the reason why you want for your truck to be in your business name is because, I'm not saying this to happen, but if you get into an accident, okay, and that person, let's say you, you know, you hit them or whatever, and they decided to sue you, well, they sue the company if the truck has been properly put in the business name. Now, if the truck is not and it's under your personal name, then they're coming after you and all your assets that you have, your your personal bank account, you know, house, whatever. But if your vehicle is in, if your truck is under your business name, then they sue the business. And if the business cannot um, cannot afford whatever lawsuit that comes along. They need to shut the business down. And that's the end of that. They can't come after you. Uh, as far as a lawsuit. And this is why it's also important to get your business bank account. Okay? Because if you use your personal bank account as your business banking account, if something happens and they, you get sued, they can still sue you if you're, you're using your personal account as your business account because it's called co-mingling of funds. So what does that mean? That means co-mingling of funds means that you are using a personal bank account. You're mixing personal and business funds together. That also brings up another point. When you use, when you have your business bank account, and when you sign up for direct deposit, you want your money to go to your business bank account first, and then you can transfer that money to your personal account because that also shows that you and your business is taking in money and then you're paying yourself from your business account. It keeps your business and your personal separate and you have to do that you can buy food with your your business debit card and stuff like that but you can't buy any personal stuff with your business debit card for the fact that if something does happen they will try what they call to pierce the corporate veil which basically means that if you are buying personal stuff with your business debit card then they can say well he is using the business 
for personal stuff so therefore he does not have the protection of the business so therefore they will try to take you know any anything they can take from house car whatever so pay yourself in your business account first then you pay yourself in your personal account all right all that out the way i know that may be a lot but it's good info to have and it's good info to know all right so you've done all that you've registered your truck in your llc name and everything now you're good to go now you're about to hit the road to start off successful this is what you want to do most companies will give you two to three sometimes four weeks before you have to make that first truck payment what do you want to do a lot of people want to go home no that's not what you want to do you don't want to go home during this period where you don't have to make this truck payment you want to hit the ground running you want to make as much money as you can before they stay they start taking out truck payments so in that two three four weeks stay out make the money build up some seed money to put away in your um, business account you know because you're gonna need it and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute but yes you want to hit the ground running you want to make that money you're not having any truck payments coming out so honestly that could be if you're not having any truck payments coming out weekly you can make um, just from truck payments anywhere from a thousand to almost four thousand dollars that you know that's without a truck payment you know what I'm saying some people's truck payments range from 500 to almost a thousand dollars so if you ain't got to worry about that truck payment yeah you want to get that money all right so that's what you want to do then when you you know then you can go home once that period is over that grace period that they give you once that's over then you can you know go home and you know spend some time on spend a lot of time on because you still got to make that money all right so one of the biggest expenses out there on the road is fuel fuel is your biggest cost other than your truck payment fuel is what you're going to spend the most money on and I would probably say it's gonna be the number one thing that you spend your most money on it and then your truck payment is gonna be second so how do you control the fuel costs now the company that you're leased to is going to give you a card a fuel card and yes that's probably you know start out using that fuel card but to save money don't go to these big truck stops like Love's, Flying J, um, TA, Petrol. That's not where you want to get your fuel because, it's, yeah, it's going to hit you over the head. You want to find small uh, mom and pop, sh you know, shops, stuff like that. I guarantee you they are at least 25 to 30 cents cheaper than uh, your Love's and sometimes it's more than that sometimes you can find them 50 cents cheaper which is a lot which is a lot all right so you're starting off with the, the corporate card um some of them come with fuel dis discounts that you love a lot of the big truck stops and it's not a lot um only about five to ten cents so what do you want to do what do you want to do if you ran right if you ran that first two, three, four weeks right and put some seed money in your business account and let it stay there, that is what you're going to use for your fuel. What you want to do is apply for fuel cards. All right. Uh, hold up, I dropped one of my cards. So here's one of mine, Trucker Solution. All right. Fuel car for pilot, pilot flying J. Um, I want to say this car comes with, uh, I think it's 25 to 30% off of all fuel for pilot and flying J. It comes in handy. It's useful. It was the first car that I got. The second car that I got is.
you can see that TSD fuel card TSD boy I love TSD the first week I've used it actually the first yeah the first week I used it I probably saved two hundred and fifty dollars on fuel period so you say two hundred fifty dollars times four that's a thousand dollars in a month's time that I save on fuel all right the reason why you want to start using your own fuel cards one is you get way better discounts I mean way better you're talking about in some cases like 75 cents to almost a dollar in fuel that 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 you'll save you know with TSD all right so and that's why I said use that C use them first few weeks to get your 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 C money set up in your account because you're going to spend that and you're going to use that for fuel money and, and, and you'll save yourself a lot of money a lot of money and trust me i didn't run those first two weeks like i wanted to i ran them but i ain't running like i wanted to and man i wish i had i wish i had i wish i had all right even if you can't get a fuel card you'll see something like mud flap and uh, mud flap is is like uh they offer big fuel discounts but you can use your you want to use your business debit card to hook up to mud flap account and you'll get the same discounts like you will get at tsd all right so that's where you can save yourself a lot of money, okay? Get off that corporate card, get your own field cards, or put money in the bank and use your business debit card for fuel. And then when you get your settlement, that's where you replace that money back when you get your settlement. But you'll spend less money, you know what I'm saying? In the long, you'll, you'll spend less, not even in the long run, in the short run, you'll spend less money than if you were using whatever card they gave you. All right, so went over what you wanna do before orientation, what you wanna do immediately after orientation, and what you wanna do as far as your biggest cost, which is fuel. All right, so that's where I'm gonna stop. I hope you guys really um, take heed to what I'm saying and I'm telling you this just from personal experience what I've done so far what I was able to do what I didn't do which was run I didn't do that so um, but if you, if you do those those three things um, you'll get yourself off to a good start especially especially if you take the advice of hit the ground running don't go home and put that seed money in your, in your uh, business bank account if you hit the ground running without that truck payment that's going to get you off to a good start that's what you, that's going to get you off to a good start all right so i'll have another uh video coming um i don't know when but uh it's going to be more or less um how um how's my business going so until then if you like the video press the like button share definitely subscribe and if you decide to take the least purchase route i do wish you good luck definitely all right till next time